My name is Nicholas Gebelt and I'm a bankruptcy attorney. Sometimes I'm asked if a person can file for bankruptcy protection without including the spouse. The answer is yes. In fact, there are three circumstances in which this comes up with some regularity. Number one, the spouse did a prior bankruptcy and not enough time has passed, so that spouse is ineligible to file. Number two, perhaps the couple is only just married and the person wanting to file for bankruptcy has all of the debts and there'd be no point in having the other spouse file. And number three, maybe the other spouse simply does not want to participate. So yes, you can file without your spouse. However, there are some things to keep in mind. California, where I practice, is a community property state. What that means is, when a couple gets married, all of their possessions get divided into three categories. The husband's separate property, the wife's separate property, and the community property. Now, what is liable to pay debts? If one spouse has a debt, the other spouse knows nothing about it. That spouse is separate property and all of the community property is liable to pay that debt. What that means is, if that spouse files for bankruptcy protection, in that spouse's bankruptcy papers, we have to list the non-filing spouse's assets, except for the separate property, the non-filing spouse's income, any debts the non-filing spouse may have, and fair is fair, we also get to list the non-filing spouse's expenses. Now you might think, well, I don't want my spouse to be involved. Well, that spouse does not have to file with you, but you still have to list that spouse's income, assets, liabilities, and expenses. As a result, it's frequently smoother if you can file together. It short circuits any kind of problems you might have with creditors trying to collect, and you emerge from bankruptcy with no debt at all. In sum, yes, you can file by yourself, but it's a bit more complicated than that.